look to a classic milkmaid braid so start by creating a center part all the way from the front of your head to the very back and make sure it's as straight as you can get it going towards your neck and then I decided to add extensions for this look too again optional but on one side I went with a two clip weft and then the other I used singular wefts and I found that the two clips actually were easier to work with and that the single clips when I was styling kind of lost their place in my hair so that's a tip I found as I was trying out this style but the first thing that you got to do for this look is to take down some smaller sections of hair one piece from in front of your ear and then one behind and this will be the accent curls later on before going straight into the braid you want to take a front section that will sweep forward and I'm going to divide this and bring it underneath the whole section of hair and then I'm going to add it into the last strand of the normal braid I decided to do a Dutch braid so that the hair would be easier to tuck over and so that just means I'm braiding under rather than over and before I section off the braid I'm again readjusting that front section to be looser and more swooping and the other side, same technique, making sure that first piece is sweeping under the rest of the section, divide into three, go under rather than over in your braid so that you get kind of an inverted loop at the front that will make a pretty shape when you bring the braid over to the other side. As for pinning, add a couple bobby pins throughout the braid and of course make sure the end is laid flat and uh, now we're just going to add some really pretty curly details which really add to the look. I'm using the same Bellamy curler as before and I'm curling one away from my face and then one towards, add a little bit more of hairspray and here is my complete look. This top is actually from Forever 21, I just picked it up and then I added an Aritzia tank underneath so I think it's really pretty, kind of a sexy classic look and next up we have a side braid. Ее прическу технику ее выполнения потому начинаю как обычно с того что тщательно расчесываю массажной расческой свои волосы и сразу разделяю их на пробор вы можете выбрать на какую сторону вы хотите или оставить пробор посередине я предпочитаю слева направо беру расческу потоньше или специальную расческу для бережного начеса волос силиконовыми щетинками объема мне хватает я просто хочу смешать свою отрастающую челку с остальной массой волос и делаю это просто сверху начесывая и как бы тут же расчесывая их можно отделять волосы на проборы и делать прикорневой объем зафиксировав лаком или пудрой для волос но я обхожусь и без этого вы ориентируйтесь на свою структуру волос этот способ не на каждый день, но если вы собираетесь на мероприятие или, как я, сегодня создаю прическу Кэтрин Пирс, то без создания дополнительного объема нам не обойтись. Также отделяю прядь у лица, это добавит некого кокетства нашему образу, и отделяю прядь волос с левой стороны к макушке. Затем собираю с правой стороны в жгут, поворачивая один, максимум два раза и закрепляем невидимками. И у нас получился довольно объемный такой пуф. Заранее прошу прощения за качество видео, на улице темно, а в комнате еще темнее. На видео появляется ужасный ряд. Ну что делать, работаем с тем, что есть. Переходим к самому пикантному моменту. Надеваем маску. Я знаю, что вы насмотрелись уже 50 оттенков серого, но у нас маскарад, девочки, маскарад. Потому берем маску и прикладываем к нашему образу. И прикидываем, все ли будет держаться весь вечер. Если да, то завязываем маску сзади красивым бантиком. Это придаст нам дополнительное кокетство привлекательность и это сделает более женственной, потому что маска у нас все-таки черная, не золотая, не красная, а именно черная. Нам необходимо ее сделать более-менее такой женственной и красивой.
Вся фишка этой прически заключается в том, что ленты от маски впадают в наши выделенные проборы с левой и правой стороны, а бант скрывает невидимки таким образом, что появляется ощущение, что прическа держится за счет маски. Также такая прическа выгодно демонстрирует длину волос, делая образ просто шикарным. На этом, пожалуй, все. Надеюсь, после этого видео вы будете вдохновлены на эксперименты со внешностью. Большое спасибо за просмотр и до встречи в новых видео. Пока-пока! It looks intricate, but it's actually pretty straightforward. Let me show you. We're gonna start with these twists. I noticed that when Octavia wears her hair down, she has these little twists in her hair. So on top, I'm just going to twist a few pieces and tease the twist lightly with a comb. I'm not going overboard with this, I just wanna add some texture on top. And this step is really optional. I'd honestly only do it if this is a cosplay. And now onto the fishtail. We're gonna take a wide mohawk section of hair and split it in two and begin the fishtail braid. Keep your sections super small at first to keep that detail at the top that she has. And once you've braided everything but a few inches, you can secure it with an elastic. Okay. Now let's move on to the braid she wears on the right side. You're gonna take a slim section of hair on the right side of your mohawk section and clip the rest of the hair out of the way. Then Dutch braid that section we left down starting with really small pieces and working up. Once you get to the end, braid that section as far as you can normally and secure it with an elastic. Now next to that braid we just did, pick up a small section of hair and braid it all the way down normally, and then secure it with an elastic. And now let's move on to the left side. We're gonna do the same thing but with two braids. So split the hair between the mohawk section and the ear in half. Dutch braid the top back until it's even with your ear, and then braid several inches or as long as you can normally and secure it in place. Now you can let the final section down and add the braid in the exact same way. And finally, let's talk about texture. Uh, just to get that kind of like post-apocalyptic texture in my hair, I grabbed some wave spray and ran that through my hair using a little bit more than I normally would. This makes your hair still look pretty, but it gives it a little bit of that I've been out fighting people for my life look. And once that's done, this hairstyle is complete. I know Octavia has so many hairstyles, but this is the one people have sent me pictures of the most, and I think it's one of her most signature. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm already planning Halloween videos, so let me know in the comments if there are any character or costume looks you wanna see. And that's it for today's video. Be sure to come back next Saturday for another hair tutorial, and hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. I'll see you in the next one. Mwah. Bye. So one of the most common styles that I see on the show is the very classic two Dutch braids coming out from the side of her head and then meeting at the back. So that is what I'm going to be starting with because I love that style.
bloom. So now for the second style, same concept as this, but sometimes she's seen uh, with all of her hair pulled up into a braid. So that is what we're going to be doing today. This style right here. So I'm going to keep both these braids, except we're gonna braid them together, and then we're gonna braid all of that into a braid. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what I mean right now. <laughs> 